Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop, call sign G4NSJ, and long awaited, I've been saying I'm going to do this for months, the Bofang UV5R. This also applies to the GT3, is it? Which I've got somewhere, I don't know where it is. <laughs> GT3. Anyway, these, right, programming these, people seem to have an absolute nightmare. <laughs> and I know why, I know why. What people do is, Let's turn him on. What people do is they'll type in the repeater frequency, okay, then go through the menu. I want this power, this offset, uh, you know, frequency offset direction, plus or minus, uh, CT, CSS tone, blah, blah, blah. Then they go memory channel. I want it in channel 10. There you go, channel 10, and it doesn't work. And they go mental. <laughs> Not surprisingly. Uh, I'm going to show you a close-up video in a minute of how to do the thing. Uh, first of all, how to set it up on a repeater. I'll then do a single channel for simplex. Okay, um, what you must do is don't type in the frequency. Okay, uh, our local repeater is, I've written it down here, GB3 Whiskey Oscar. The, um, the output that it transmits on 430975. So this wants to receive on 430975. Don't type that in, right, yet. Okay, watch the video and I'll come back after. Right, I hope the lighting's all right here. So I'm gonna um, program in our local repeater, GB3WO. Now the first thing to do before you put any frequencies or anything, you want to be on frequency mode. Okay, so channel mode. that's channel. Frequency mode and be on the top one. Okay, you've got A and B. Be on the top one, A. Right, go to the press the menu. Menu. Right, that's the squelch setting, don't worry about that. Press up. That's step, don't worry about that. Uh, TX power, I'm going to put this on low, so you've got that. Press menu. Power. Then go here. Low, you've got low or high. Okay, low. Press the menu again. And she says confirm. Right, now go up again. Don't worry about that. That's Vox, we don't want that. That's receive CTCSS, don't want that. We want transmit CTCSS, okay? Right, CTCSS, so menu. Now, if you press the up button, there we are, that's 67. We want for this one 88.5, so keep going. 77, 79, 82, 88.5. Press the menu. Confirm. Confirm. Okay. Right, now keep going up. A voice England. I'm not going through all these other menu things. Um, because it's you know it's it's too much. You can look that up in the book. It's basically programming the uh, for repeater or programming for anything. Um, right, if we keep going up, what we want next is I can find it. Shift. There we are. Shift. Okay. So go to menu. Frequency direction. Right now that's already in positive. So because the shift is plus, it's on this repeater. It's plus seven point six megs. Okay. Um, let's go back there. Menu. Frequency direction. Frequency direction. Okay. Um, there's minus. Off, and plus. Right. Confirmed. Confirmed. Keep going up. Offset. Now this. Um, there's two ways of doing this. You can either put the offset in there, which I think is the best way, which is 7.6 megs. Right. So what? Oh, it keeps disappearing. You've got to be fairly quick. Menu. Right, offset. Press that again. Offset frequency. Right, so you do zero. Zero. zero seven. Six. Zero. Zero. Okay, so there's the 7.6 menu. Confirmed. Confirmed. So you type in zero zero seven six zero zero. Okay, don't just type in 7.6 megs. Now we come out of there. OK, and now type in here on the top one, the repeater. So that's 430975. Four, Four. Three. Zero. Nine. Seven. 
975. So I've put the frequency in there. We go back to the menu. That's delete channel. We don't want that. We want memory channel. There we are. Press. Memory channel. Now I want it in five. There's five. Receiving mem and then exit. Right. Now if we go back to here. Channel mode. Channel mode. If I go to channel five, which is there. There we are, that's fired up the repeater on channel 5. Little L there says low power. OK, if I go down a channel, four. that's channel 4. That is the same repeater, but that's high power. All right. I like to have both in because this is 1 watt, or is it 4 or 5 watts? Um, the repeater is very near to me, so I just have this on, on 1 watt. So there it is, channel 5. There's channel 5 and there's the repeater. And you can see, I won't keep firing it up, it'll annoy people. That's the receive, 439.75. When I transmit, 438.575. OK. Take my jacket off, it's warming up. Here comes summer at last. When you set your channel like that's channel 5 all right the reason I've got two different channels for the same repeater one high power one low power is once it's set you can't change the power you can't go to channel 5 then think uh, you know which is the repeater then think oh, I don't want high power just go to the menu and do low it won't work it's got to be in the memory okay so you you, you set all the parameters that's a good word isn't it all the stuff there we are all the bits and pieces before you then put it into a memory. So you've got to set your transmit power, your offset frequency, whether it's plus or minus. I mean, on two meters, it's minus, isn't it? You know, the input uh, to the repeater is always minus something. Whereas on 70 sems, it's always plus, like on this one, 7.6 megs. Um, put in your CTCSS tone, put in all, all your parameters. <laughs> parameters, I like that. And then type in your frequency and then save it to a memory channel. Right, I'm now going to put in a simplex channel. Now, what happens, we've set everything, we've set up shifts and everything and all the tones and stuff like that, parameters. Uh, we don't want that, obviously, on a simplex channel. We're transmitting and receiving on the same frequency. We don't want shift, we don't want tones or any of that. Now, this time, as it's all set up with the tones and everything, um, it'll probably work if you don't put the frequency in first, but I find it's best to put the frequency in first when you're going to reset up a whole new thing. Um, it do, these do move in mysterious ways. So what I'm going to do, let, well, I'll show you the video. I'm going to type in the, the, uh, the channel, the frequency first. Have a look at the video. Right, this time I'm going to type in a, a simplex channel. OK, and it's going to be 446.00625, which is actually a, one of the 446 channels. It's channel 1. So this time you want um, channel mode. frequency, frequency mode. mode. This time type it in up the top. OK, type your frequency in up the top. Then go to menu. menu. Right, offset. I'm going to go through them all. Um, let's go back to, to number 1. Right, that's the squelch. We'll leave that. Step is 12 and a half. That's OK. TX power will have that on high, so we go menu, power. high, and then that menu again. Confirm. Confirm, keep going up. Vox, we don't want. The next thing we should find is transmit CTCSS, right? So menu, go down, because we don't want a tone on this, so we go down until it says off, and then menu. Confirm. Right, keep going up. This is a simplex channel, remember. So we're going to go up here. Oops, go back down one. Right, shift direction plus. We don't want any. OK, so press that. Then go up, minus, off. OK, menu. Confirm. Off. Confirmed. Keep going. Right, offset. So menu. Offset frequency. Zero. 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 OK, menu. Confirm. And I think that's the lot, isn't it? What else have we got? Uh, 
Right, now we've done all that, we can put it into a memory channel. So I'm going to put it into zero, so we go... Memory channel. Transmitting memory. Transmitting memory and exit. Right, if we now go to... Channel mode. Channel mode. Where are we? That's... One, two, zero. That's zero. And when I transmit on 4460625 there, the frequency doesn't change. The offset's gone. This is why so many people, they've said to me, oh, I put my frequency and I've saved it. When I transmit, it's on another frequency. It transmits somewhere else because the offset's still there. You've always got to check that. Um, so, yeah, just check that if you're going to put in your repeater stuff, right, you've set all the parameters first, then put your frequency and then save it to a memory channel. If, if after that you go into a simplex channel, uh, put your frequency in, then get it, get rid of everything and then save it to a channel. Once you've got the hang of it, it's easy. I must have done six or seven, maybe eight of these now. Uh, I've got three of my own. Um, I must have done probably 10. <laughs> Various friends and people, they've come around, oh, can you do this? I can't work it out. Uh, it's not that I'm clever. It's just I've sussed it. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, so yeah, oh, by the way, 446, right? Ofcom don't want you to use these on 446, it's illegal. Okay, or whatever country, FCC or whatever you've got in your country, might be different, I don't know. But the 446 frequencies, um, you're not allowed to use these. These don't comply with Ofcom rules for equipment for those frequencies. Nothing to do with whether they work or not, they work extremely well on those frequencies. So I've been told, I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never used them on, on the, Four, four, six. I only put that, put that in as an example, that channel one. There are 16 channels now on 446, and there are 449, three or four 449 business channels, which it will cover, but it's not licensed. You can't use this on there. So I wouldn't put in all the, all the channels, even though these work extremely well there. So that's it. I hope you, you kind of understood that. If you find that you've done it all, you know, you put your frequency in, your simplex and blah, 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 and it changes. Well, go through all the memories, try it the other way around, because I think some of these do vary a bit. Try it the other way around. Get rid of all your offsets and tones and stuff. Put your frequency in, go to the memory channel. Whatever you want to do, press menu, okay? Up and down button, say you want to change the squelch. You find the squelch, okay? Press memory again then up and down and you're changing the squelch level. When you found the level you want, press menu again. Okay, that's the, that's the secret of changing things that are in the menu. If you want a tone, a CTCSS tone or whatever, press menu, up and down buttons till you find your uh, T, CCCST, that's transmit. Okay, press menu, up and down to get the correct tone, press menu and she'll say confirmed. I think that's all there is to say about it, isn't it? Just one last thing, when I was typing in 4460625, okay, you don't have to type them all. Type in 446006, uh, I think I'll put it, and the 25 will come up. You don't have to type that. You'll get the hang of it, but you're not allowed to type those in anyway, so there we are. <laughs> Let's say, for example, you want to type in a 2 meter simplex frequency, 145.5, that's S20. Is that S20? It used to be S20. Oh, goodness knows what they call it now, something daft. So you would type in 145, 500. Okay, that's S20. And that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. When you typed in um, 446.006, it comes up with 25. If you do the up-down buttons, it'll say 75 or 5. All right? Uh, but you won't need to get involved in that. But that's just something to bear in mind. If you're thinking, well, I, I can't get... 4460625 do what you can 446006 then do the up down buttons and it'll come up to the frequency you want all right right that's it i've waffled enough the sun's out i'm going to sit in the garden and have a chat on 44 four, uh, the, the, the repeater that's right 446 i must delete that that illegal channel there i must delete and uh, uh, one last thing to use this on any amateur radio bands, you must have an amateur radio license. If you haven't, you'll find it'll still work, but you might get told off. Thanks for watching as always. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now and good luck. Bye-bye.